Hi everybody, today we have a blue and red deck that wants to cast Intrude on the Mind, a card from Karlov Manor that lets us reveal the top five cards of our library, separate them out, and lets our opponent choose which one we get. Now whichever one they don't choose goes to the graveyard and we get a thopter equal to the number of cards that go to the graveyard like that. So we're drawing some extra cards, we're casting spells, and we're ending up with some Thopter tokens. So the rest of the deck is kind of built to support that. We're kind of a spell slinger package, so we've got Arcane Bombardment, Chandra Hope's Beacon, and a good number of decent spells, so that no matter which pile our opponent picks, we're probably going to end up with something useful. So let's see a few games with this deck over on the rank Standard Ladder. Well, all right, let's get started here. I'm going to keep this because we can start off with a Surge Engine. Land number three right on time. This is always one of those moments where I go, did we remember to put dual lands in this deck of any kind? <laughs> or am I just that lucky? All right, opponent with an early herd migration pulls out a plains. Nice. I don't know our, what our opponent was nicing about, but I'm, gl I'm glad... Somebody's day is going okay. Let's play the Celestis here, and we can use that to turn our Surge Engine into an attacker. Remove any kind of bonus they've gotten from a Herd Migration. Opponent with the nice again! I agree. Very nice. Let's discard a land here to the Celestis. Pick up an Into the Fire. Let's attack for three. Get our lands down. Intrude is an instant, so let's keep that up. Opponent with the nice again. I agree. It is just a nice day for intruding on the mind. All right. Uh, let's see. Chandra and Spire in one and two spells in the other. Honestly, okay with receiving either one. Opponent puts Chandra to the grave, so we get a little Thopter going. And we draw a Bombardment off the top. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Let's go attacking and see what they do. Hmm, they're acting like they've got an instant. Could be a Leyline Binding. Let's just pass it on over for now. I mean, we're in a pretty good spot. Nice! Opponent with the nice again. We got a Fight Rigging. Gonna hide something away. So, what can we expect to see here? Leyline binding. Let's get Surge Engine a little bigger, see if we can't bait something out there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Invoke the Winds is here. All right, well, we hit him down to five with that. Lightning Strike the face. And lightning strike the face again. All right. Nice. Okay, always good idea to remember to hit that record button. Good thing our opponent's off to a slow start. Let's go storm carved coast. Got an early Celestis here. All of the board wipes in the world. And there's Sahili to help us out. Been including Into the Fire in this deck as a nod to Boros Convoke, which kind of looked like our opponent was on that at first, but now I'm not sure. Union of the Third Path, huh? Plays out a Ganjo after seeing us not do any creatures. Let's discard Explosion then to the Celeste. Well, Into the Fire is a little, little worse. All right, burn down the house on Devils. I got a theory. Yeah, let's go to attacks. Hmm. Okay, I expected a Wanderer there. Oh, there's black in this deck? Alright, this feels like a control deck. And we're just going to keep working on them with Devils until something different happens. Restless Vents. So if we play out Sahili, they could potentially hit that with the Vents. Let's just pass it on over. Soul Search. Choose a non-land card and exile it. Well, on the plus side, they don't get any spirits, but 
we are going to lose our spell. Burn down the house it is. Let's go experimental augury. Ooh. Chandra and Riddle. Let's take Chandra here. We draw ill-timed explosion. Let's attack with the devil some more. So I've got my suspicions about our opponent being a control deck. Let's just run Chandra out there and see. I imagine she's going to eat some removal, but we got to try. Yeah, get lost. Okay. Well, we still get to add a little mana. Let's go ahead and experimental augury. We'll take the lightning strike. Was kind of hoping for another six mana finisher there. As we draw a lightning strike, let's get rid of explosion. Big score. And lightning helix, the discard there. Shadowy backstreet. Let's see what they surveil. All right. Pitches the springs. Is our opponent on Arcane Bombardment too? Let's see. Let's go attacking with the devils before we decide on Sahili. Okay. Nothing there. Yeah, let's just, let's just run out Sahili. Let's pretend for a moment we don't have Chandra. Gonna do a little scrying. We've got artifacts to spare, so we can draw cards. Island, we'll put that to the bottom. Let's tap a map to draw. <laughs> Shiv and Reef, all right. So we can tap Celestis or just keep up Lightning Strike. Let's keep up Lightning Strike in case they decide to activate the vents and have a go at Sahili. Burn down the house on damage. Okay. Well, let's point some devils at our opponent. This could be an opportunity to attack us with the vents. But our opponent having a good think over there. I think the more I think about this, the more I'm positive they're on bombardment. Let's throw some burn at him. All right, down to eight. All right, demolition field. I'm kind of glad to see you. Let's play out Chandra. Ugh, of course, you've tapped my demolition field. It's all right. So how do we order this? Let's do Chandra's ability. That way, if they respond to that with removal, we can respond to their removal with lightning strike and still get a whole bunch of damage in. Okay, no response. Double lightning strike. And... Hey, we got there. Good game. Okay, I think we're going to keep this. Got a twin Inferno. Been experimenting with throwing one of those in here lately. Opponent's starting off with a hedge maze, throwing a forest into the grave. We will just pass it along. Interesting. Cavern of Souls on Merfolk. Jade Light Spelunker. Gonna explore one time. Sees Cosmic Hunger on the top. Well, color me unfamiliar. Don't really want to bounce that back to their hand. The Spelunker just gets better as they get more mana. All right, yeah, if you want to attack for two, we're going to let that go. Okay, opponent follows up 
by keeping mana open, the ever suspicious untapped blue land. Let's try a surge engine. Passing it on over. Cosmic Hunger. So it wants to fight something. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Well, I suppose we could have fading hoped that back to our hand, but the engine's not integral to our game plan. We can use this fading hope to maybe activate bombardment later on. Deep Fathom Echo may become a copy of a creature you control. And it's a 4-4. That's a decent rate. All right, opponent attacks with the Spelunker again, down to 16. Yeah, not sure I want to bounce that Echo either. Ah, there you are. Ill-timed explosion. Let's see here. I do want to discard. Let's get rid of Twin Inferno, maybe to pull up later. And Sahili. Yeah, you'll clear everything off. All right, pass it on back. I was really hoping for a land there. We've got Intrude on the mind. So hopefully we can dig into something good. Oh, opponent reveals Sentinel on the top. These are some beefy merfolk. There's land number five. Okay, let's pass. Don't want to be locked into trying to board wipe one creature at a time, so this might be a good opportunity for Intrude on the Mind. Been interesting experimenting with Intrude. As our opponent lays down a Sentinel here, makes a map. So it's got kind of the factor fiction vibe where you have two piles of cards that somebody gets to choose from at any rate. So it's really a lot better at drawing cards than making Thopters. Opponent coming across for four. Hmm. So yeah, Intrude, not really a win condition in its own right, but a great support card, especially if you're going to be casting spells. So let's have Jace Intrude on the mind here. <laughs> All right, so let's give them a choice. They can give us Chandra, and then we get a 4-4 four, four flyer. Now this will work, 3-3 three, three flyer. What choice do you want to make? All right, they opt to not give us Chandra, but give us Augury. We get the 2-2 two, two flyer. And Augury can put a counter on that. Restless Spire, the draw. So I just don't want our opponent's creatures to get too out of hand here. Cosmic Hunger takes care of our Thopter. Well, now we can burn down the house with Impunity. Let's play Restless Spire. All right, we kind of got to dig for... Would love a bombardment to appear, a Chandra. It's our opponent with another Cavern of Souls. Waterwind Scout making a map token. Ooh, another Deep Fathom Echo on the top. Yeah, that is a surprisingly solid card. So opponent looks like they're just going to explore up a bit here with the Scout. Get a nice 4-4 four, four Flyer. Okay, let's go into the fire and let's kind of spin the wheel here, put some cards back and see what we can draw. We get Confounding Riddle and Sahili. Well, I think we just got to pass this. Opponent's got Deep Fathom Echo.
And thankfully, that's it. All right, opponent comes across with the Waterwind Scout. Tell you what, let's Fading Hope that back to hand. We're going to get the Scry, get Fuss and Bother. That's not really the right situation for that. All right, great. And they replay the Waterwind Scout. They make a map token. Is anyone exploring? Doesn't look like it. Let's use Riddle then to go looking for cards. Burn down the house and ill-timed explosion here. Let's take burn down the house. Let's go land. Clear this board. And pass it on over. So now we could potentially... Oof, Sentinel's just out of range of lightning strike. Let's augury and keep looking for something. We get Surge Engine and another Riddle. Plus a Lightning Strike. Let's take the Riddle since we can dig pretty deeply with that. And there's Bombardment. Alright. It's about time. So let's do Bombardment. Yeah, hopefully they're not sitting on a counter all this time. That would be pretty anticlimactic. Okay, Bombardment lands, but they are in green. We could eat a Boseju here. Nikanzil Current Conductor. All of the Explore hits here. Ooh, with a Vodalian Hexcatcher on the top, too. Alright. Well, they are really beefing up the Sentinel. The Current Conductor gets a few counters of its own. Alright, we'll tell you what, let's Lightning Strike this Sentinel. Nice. The gamble paid off. We pick up Ill-Timed Explosion out of the grave. Ugh, let's discard Sahili and Spire. So we can at least clear that Sentinel off. We are one damage shy of the current Conductor going as well. There's an Abrade. All right, well, let's let's repeat that. We will abrade the conductor even though it's not enough to get rid of it. We do have ill-timed explosion. <laughs> we have several ill-timed explosion. Well, let's do them both here. Okay. Let's discard this bombardment since that's kind of guaranteed to work. And then we can use this second explosion to just draw cards. Ouch. Just lands. Let's play Murex then, pass the turn. Keep up the riddle for our opponent's turn, although with this Cavern of Souls on board, I'm not sure how much stuff we're going to be countering. Do a quick cycle here, see what we see. Fuss and bother. I must have shuffled at some point. Alright, well, let's cast Bother. We pull up the triplicate ill-timed explosion. I think drawing four cards is enough. We're going to get some Thopters. Let's put those into the grave. Land. Yeah, we can afford Surge Engine as well. Opponent's going to flash in the Hex Catcher. Yeah, not much we can do there. So we're finally able to build up a little bit of an offense here. What is that? Lodestone Needle. When it enters the battlefield, tap up to one target artifact or creature and put two stun counters on it. All right, well, the Surge Engine is stunned.
Merfolk Cave Diver. Alright, end of our opponent's turn. Let's shoot the Hex Catcher with this Lightning Bolt. We've got one mana up, so we can pay. We pick up in a braid. Let's destroy that. And all right, opponent sees that coming. Good game. Okay, not a bad opener. We've got lightning strike. Ill-timed explosion. Love the flexible nature of the explosion. We can just draw cards if there's not much going on on the board. Uh-oh. Opponent with a blue-black and shows us the collector's vault straight away. Is our opponent going to reenact some crimes? Or at least just reanimate some things? Could be. Treasure map. The Enigma Jewel. All right. Let's see what flavor of Enigma Jewel our opponent has for us today. I'm going to grab that Surge Engine since we are pretty full on lands. And maybe we can keep this alive before our opponent can get the Jewel online. Such a weird card, the Adingba Jewel. It's just tough to wrap your brain around. Almost a whole new uh, archetype in the way it kind of asks you to build a deck, which is pretty cool. All right, well, so much for the Surge Engine plan. Treasure map from the opponent keeps a card on the top. Down to one card in hand, but they're able to kind of cycle through dead cards now with these artifacts they've got going. Yep, let's play Shivan Reef. Ill-timed explosion. No need to discard. Opponent activates the treasure map, puts one to the bottom. Lands keep coming, and Collector's Vault gets the activation. Another Vault. Well, the good news is they're out of cards for now. Bad news is they're getting a little closer to the 9 mana required to activate the Jewel. We drew in a Braid, though. <laughs> That's kind of evil. So we're definitely doing it. All right, Enigma Jewel gets abraded. Replay Surge Engine. We'll throw our one mana in there and just make the game move that much faster. Opponent activating Treasure Map. That's the third one, so they got Treasure Cove online. Hmm, and last card, Vraska. Vraska turns our Surge Engine into treasure. We pick up Confounding Riddle off the top. Alright, well I don't really want Vraska to stick around. Let's make some devils. There's not a like super elegant way of doing this. So let's send three at Vraska. Play out Demolition Field. Lightning Strike. Do the last few points of damage here. And we at least have some semblance of offense happening. Could maybe start making some more tokens with the Murex. Opponent uses Treasure Cove to draw. And now Collector's Vault's going to cycle all the chaff from the top of their deck. Well, all we can do is hope that they draw lands, I suppose. Alright, they must have five treasures left and no plays. Let's keep attacking with Devils. Opponent's got to cut down for the Devil. 
Well, I suppose you've got to get rid of these eventually. You might as well do it before you're too low on life. Let's get rid of their treasure cove with demolition field. Trying to just control the flow of cards over there. We'll grab island. Oh, it's still a combat phase. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Expect some collector's vault activations from the opponent. Oh, they found it. And just counting here. They've got eight mana up. So we can't confounding riddle it. However, that also means they are one mana shy of activating it right now. Okay, that... Yeah, well, that we can attempt to target. So if they do this... Two, four, six... They... Mm, oh, they might still have enough to activate it next turn. Alright. Hmm, perhaps a miscalculation there. Let's... Send in the devils. Down to 12. Let's spire. I think with the jewel they can activate it. Is that right? Or can it not pay for itself? Drawing and discarding. Oh no, just drawing. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. Augury. Okay, well, they must not have been able to activate it. Realm Breaker. Okay, that's not a huge threat. We can let that go. I mean, it's going to mill us a bunch. But if we can pick up a bombardment, that's actually not the worst thing. They steal a demolition field. All right, well, speaking of which, let's make a... Make a Murex token here. Ooh. Bombardment the draw. Let's go ahead and do it. We've got two mana up. They could make disappear it, sack in the token, but that must not be what's in the hand. Alright, let's activate this right now. Lightning bolt the face. Okay, we pick up ill-timed explosion. We get intrude and into the fire. Bring our opponent to nine. All right, let's go face then. Could maybe start pulling up some burn here and try to finish this off before things get too gnarly. opponent. What do you got? Demolition field on the Murex. Sure, we'll do that. Attacks with the ninja. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Draws with Kaido. Path of Peril, we get two damage in with the Devils. This might this might come down this might come down to a scenario where we intrude on the mind on our opponent's end step. And see if we can't put him in a bit of a pickle. What wait a minute. Tear asunder for the bombardment? Hold on a minute. There. <laughs> I'm taken aback. Well, we've got two damage in Restless Spire. That leaves us five for intruding. Even if we do a 3 2 split, that virtually guarantees we've got a creature that can take our opponent out. Let's get in for the two. Scry. Fuss. 
not really what I want. Tear asunder. And you're depending on treasures to cast it. That's... That's bold. Although with all these collector's vaults, I guess it's not that bad. Plus the realm breaker. That was... That was shocking. Kaya. Okay. Well, we, we gotta counter that. We can't let that slide. No life gain here. It does put us another turn away from our path to victory. Alright. I'm getting the sense there's no counter magic in our opponent's deck. I think we can stop worrying about it. Kaido makes a ninja. Our opponent discarded a Teferi, which kind of makes me a little scared at what's left in their hand. Let's play the Reef. Let's do Into the Fire. Take out Kaido and the ninja. And get in for the final two with the Spire. Oh, and they've got the cut down! No! <laughs> All right. I mean, we're coming down to it here. Oh, Jin. Jin Gitaxius. Opponent mills us. They're going to take a land. We draw Bombardment. Jin only works on artifacts, instants, and sorceries, so let's get Bombardment down. Opponent gets to play again. So, I've dealt with Jin before. Ooh, opponent just sacking Realmbreaker here. Oh, they've got it! They've got the Phyrexians! All right. This is kind of an amazing deck. Um, okay. So, land. What is best here? Because Jin's going to counter the spell that we activate Bombardment with. But any Bombardment spell is going to break through. We've got some Lightning Strikes. Let's see. Uh, Ill-Timed Explosion is a sorcery. Intrude is an instant... See, Elish only affects things entering the battlefield and triggering. I feel like I'm missing something here. The jewel. Okay. Got to think about this for a second. Just taking one more look here. There's a braid, burn down the house. Okay, and Shieldred's going to hit us if we draw cards too much. All right, tell you what. Let's let's intrude right now. <laughs> we we got lightning strike. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. <laughs> Good game. Alrighty, we're going to keep a two-lander this time. We've got Fading Hope and Augury to start. We just need some lands that don't hurt. I think we'll be doing okay. Opponent with the Novice Inspector. Making a clue token. Well, I don't want to bounce that. You know, I can see why Fading Hope is uh, falling off in popularity these days. Everybody comes with a little something extra. Opponent showing they're on red and white. Goes with a second inspector. Passes the turn. We will give it right back. Opponent playing all basic lands. Not giving my demolition field a chance to do anything. They do have Bacall though. Thousandth moon. That we can fading hope. Untap land on top. We'll take it. Gets us on our way to burn down the house mana, which I'm sensing we're going to need. Let's play this Sahili. 
We're going to scry a little bit. Lightning strike, not really needed right now. So if they want to waste a little time going after Sahili, good with that. Pakal's going to activate, give them a golem, but Sahili's still here. And there's land number five. Let's get a scry out of her. A braid. Tell you what, let's put that away. Let's do burn down the house on damage. Pass it back to the opponent. Opponent with a red herring. Nice. Oh, that's very good. I mean, it's not good in the sense that it's amazing, but you know what I mean. Opponent sacks the clue token. Yes. Goes for the attack. So we've got some mana up here. Let's intrude on the mind. Okay. Three spells, two lands. Twinferno, I don't care too much about. In my mind, these are pretty close to equal piles. They give us the big one. So we get the 2-2 two -two Thopter. All right, let's play Restless Spire. We've got another couple of intrudes ready to go. Still a mana shy of being able to double it up with Twinferno. Opponent finding all the mana. Second red herring. Case of the Gateway Express. Enters the battlefield. Choose target creature. Deals damage. Okay. Well, Thopter. Actually. Experimental Augury. Let's take the engine. We can proliferate and save it. I mean, I was probably just going to block with this anyway, but yeah, here you go. <laughs> Plan preserved. One herring down. Ooh, did we? Ooh, are we at seven? All right, let, let's tell you what. Let's do this. Let's go Twin Twinferno. Let's double up, burn down the house. That's going to double that up. I love making devils. We can keep a devil or two back on blocks. Oh, opponents, opponents starting to panic now. They've sacrificed the red herring. So we get in a nice attack for six. Opponent's still got a good chunk of cards in their hand, though. Agris costs Spirit of Justice. Trying to suspect and exile some things, eh? Well, the good news for our opponent, we can't really remove that. Let's go to attacks here. If we attack with the solitary suspected devil, can't be blocked. Yeah, and I don't I don't know if we need to go all attrition mode and send in every other devil. Ooh, lightning helix. Okay, gains three. We'll hit him, pay him back for one, take him to fifteen. Aurelia the Law Above, and the fancy one at that. Attacks with three more creatures, draw a card. Hmm. Okay, is suspecting the Surge Engine. Alright, before blocks, let's intrude. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Alright, let's give them let's give them a choice. They can either give us Chandra, which we can use to clear their board. 
and if they give us Chandra, we make a blocker. Oh, maybe that wasn't the best pile. Okay, so we can at least chump with this Thopter. They don't immediately lose their creatures. Either way, we were getting a Chandra there though, right? So we could have still... Okay, I think, I think we still got a pretty decent outcome. All right, we're going to throw some creatures in front of this Agris. And that should leave me with enough to take out Aurelia. One's got Market Watch Phantom. Okay. I was hoping to preserve some loyalty on Chandra, so let's let's see if this works. Let's go four and four. Hopefully that's our opponent's remaining creatures. We can attack. Keep the surge engine back on blocking duty and play a backup. Okay, opponent with another Agris. Alright, is able to exile the suspected Surge Engine. Another Novice Inspector. And we draw into the fire. Which is pretty much just going to wipe our board at this point. We might be able to use Experimental Augury to put more counters on Chandra. So she's going to double that up. Let's take Explosion. So she gets an extra counter. We see Bombardment and Fuss. We'll take Bombardment. More counters on Chandra. Alright, how do we want to do this? I think we've got enough. Let's activate the Surge Engine. Go attacking. We'll send in the Surge Engine by itself so we can kind of hang back with the Devils to protect Chandra. We've got this Augury to kind of mess with combat math, but I'd actually rather not do that. Let's do Ill-Timed Explosion. We get Lightning Strike. Okay, uh, tell you what. Let's just clear this out then. Discard, burn down the house. Wipe everybody. Point the Devils at our opponent. Ill-timed explosion doesn't hit planeswalkers. So let's plus Chandra here. Let's just give her the plus two for mana. I've got plenty of cards we can play. And this brings us closer to a burn them out kind of finish. Oh, we got another lightning strike. All right, we'll submit that for Chandra. Opponent with the clue token. Yeah, let's pass. So on this turn, Chandra can copy another spell for us. War leader's call. Do you have any tokens to back that up? Another Hagris. Okay, nothing to suspect. Call gonna hit us for one. Tie game, but I think we've got the greater number of spells at this point. So let's double up a lightning strike. And between Chandra and copying this lightning strike, yeah, good game opponent. Just had a little too much burn there at the end there. Just to show him we got it, let's put out the arcane bombardment and uh, yeah, good game.